Hi folks, I'm back. Spidey is back with a great movie review tonight. Oh my god. Three or four nights ago I reviewed R.I.P.D., which I thought was really a great movie, and I still do. It's a classic comedy with Jeff Bridges and Ryan Reynolds. And of course, a week ago we did Tales from the Crypt. Uh, you remember that review. I, I hope you do. <laughs> But first, before I do anything, we are going to dedicate... Well, you know the routine, folks. You know the routine. I have to do this every time. I have to dedicate this this uh, this webcast to Kara C, as I always do. I love you, babe. I wish you would call me. Okay, let's get into the movie reveal. Now, as I, as I just showed you, here's the cover for Dead Silence. Now, this movie came out in 2007. Now, it's one of the creepiest ghost stories ever made. I mean, it's basically kind of a ghost story, but with puppets. <laughs> you know? And, and uh, Mary Shaw, who, seeks, who comes back from uh, being murdered in the 1940s, to seek revenge on the family and all the relatives uh, that were part of the, the massacre when they killed her back then. You know, because basically what happens is the towns, a lot of people go missing back then in the 1940s. And of course, everybody blames Mary Shaw. And of course, the townsfolks in this particularly one family, they kill Mary Shaw back in the 1940s. She was this famous ventriloquist who basically was touring all over the United States and, you know, Europe and everywhere. Uh, it's, it's a really good movie, folks. <laughs> and, of course, she's on stage one night. It has a flashback to, you know, back when she was uh, at her uh, uh, height of her popularity. And, uh, of course, this little brat in the in the audience uh, screams up at her when she's on the stage with her ventriloquist. I can see your lips move, you know, and stuff like that. And of course, oh, she is not amused at this. She starts snapping back at this little kid and scaring the living shit out of this kid and all the all the people sitting next to him in this big theater just look at him going, what the hell did you say that to Mary Shaw for? Of course, the kid goes missing like a day or two later, and he becomes a part of her puppet collection. <laughs> in, fact, in fact, that is him right there as a puppet. That's, that is, that's his fate for uh, dissing Mary uh, Shaw on stage during one of her performances. Anyway, they end up killing Mary Shaw, the townsfolk, soon after a lot of people go missing and stuff like that, and kids, especially children and stuff like that. They're part of her vast collection of, of ventriloquist puppets, you know, and so they, so Mary Shaw is dead. So she basically lives through her puppets, and, you know, that's the only way. So she needs to come back and uh, seek revenge on the, the remaining members of the family that actually were part of her murder back in the 1940s. And... What I what I really like about this movie, folks, is that it it's a well written story. It's creepy as hell. Uh, it's got great atmospherics. The music soundtrack is fantastic. The acting is really good. I mean, everything is really perfect about this movie. Let's watch a clip from this movie, and I will kind of give you an idea of what this movie kind of like looks like. I hope I I hope I do this movie justice. I'm gonna show a little bit of clip. Let's see what you think. Okay. Uh, yes. Stroke to do that. Now there's his father. His father's actually dead. He's actually a ventriloquist uh, <laughs> dummy. He, but he looks like real, like he's actually alive. Bob Gooden play. That's Bob Gooden right there. I can take care of And there's the kid, of course. As your father, it's the least I can do. You've done the least you can do my whole life. It's too late for charity now. And there's Mary Shaw actually come back, uh, reincarnated as a younger woman. In light of what has happened. I was hoping we could put that in the past. I didn't come and talk about that. I, I came to ask you something. Do you remember when I was a kid, Mom used to read me a poem? Do you remember what it was? Oh, I like this scene. This is a great scene. My poem. Interaction between the father and the son. the stare of Mary Shaw. She had no children, only dolls. And if you see her in your dreams, be sure you never, ever scream. Well, you know it. See, it's that's exactly your mistake. If you scream in front of her, she uh, rips your damn tongue out and you become a puppet. Believe in it as well. We live in a small town, Jamie. Small minds breed small minded superstitions. <laughs> there's nothing else. He's actually, like I said, he's already dead, man. She's actually behind him. Uh, she's a ventriloquist. That's uh, and she's actually controlling his uh, his movement, his speech, everything. Jamie. But you don't Jamie. find that out to the very end. Jamie. It's pretty cool. It's actually a pretty cool movie. Let's go. Let's get back to. Uh,
Okay, let's get back to the review here. I'm just going to flip my camera down here again and just discuss this movie a little bit more. Anyway, so that's really what the movie's based on, you know, is the kid goes back. Actually, the, the movie starts out pretty much, I'm not going to give her a little scene away, but the, the kid actually goes, the beginning of the movie, he gets a package delivered to him. And, of course, it has the, pup, the Mary Shaw puppet in it. And, of course, him and his wife open the door and set the base of the door. They bring it in and wrap it, and they find out. They open it up and go, what the hell is this? There's no re there's a re no return address on it. There's nothing. It's basically just uh, a, an evil puppet, a ghostly puppet delivered to him. Of course, that's a huge mistake because he, after, you know, they bring it in. To, it's really creepy. That's exactly what it looks like right there. <laughs> and it's... And, uh... They, uh, so he has to go out for some food. Of course, she's at home cooking his wife. And, of course, the puppet starts, no, it's, it kills her. It basically kills her. It drags her in the, into the bedroom, and it goes into her face. It rips her face open, and she, there is, it, it basically rips your tongue out. And she becomes a puppet, you know, and she's part of the puppet collection of Mary Shaw. And, of course, I'm not, well, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't give the ending away. The kid end actually becomes a puppet, too, at the end. He gets fucked up, too. Because he screams and opens his mouth when he when he looks into the looks at the stare of Mary Shaw. She's really this creepy old like eighty year old woman who's just absolutely just. It, I mean, she just terrifies you just looking at her, man. She, I mean, she, she you just it's like oh my god, don't don't even come near me, you know. It's like oh my god, this woman is is so so scary looking, you know. And but she's actually a great ventriloquist, and of course she comes back from the grave like I said before. And he's still been collecting, uh, you know, souls, so basically like souls for the last 40, 50, 60 years, 60 years or whatever, and turn them into puppets. She has this huge collection in the theater. She actually used to perform here, perform at, uh, I'm not sure what, maybe it's New Jersey or something. Some little island off, island off uh, the coast or something like that, or like a off, little island in the middle of a lake or something like that, where the, all the all the you know, her fans just go and watch her at the theater and stuff like that. So back in the forties, so she is pretty much creepy as hell. <laughs> it's just, oh my god, this movie. Donnie Wahlberg, I have to say, uh, does a great job. He plays the detective who actually uh, gets put on the case once the uh, the young guy's wife is murdered by Mary Shaw in their apartment, and he basically kind of dogs his kid. He follows him around. He's threatening to arrest him. You know, stuff like that. Of course, he finally, towards the end, he basically starts to believe something weird is fucking going on here. It, with, you know, living puppets, Mary Shaw, the legend, stuff like that. And, you know, this movie is so, folks, this movie, if you don't have this movie in your collection, folks, you need to put this movie in your collection. This is a cl cult classic in every sense of the word. I might even rate this movie 10 because I think this movie is so outstanding from start to finish. It has perfect acting, it has a great set, it has creepy puppets, it has ghostly images, it has, you know, a great soundtrack. The, you know, this. I mean, whoever made this movie, I can't think, who's the guy who made this movie? He did a great job. I think it's from the same people who did, like, Saw and stuff like that. And, uh... I think so. I think it's from the same people who did Saw, or the producer, director from Saw, or something like that. I should do, do a little more info, get a little more info on this movie. But I think you could find the info yourself. Let's watch another clip, and I kind of will give you a little more of a, a sneak peek at what this movie is kind of like. I hope we get some really creepy scenes here. Watch this. Ah, wah, ah. All right, there we go. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you sit and... Oh, this is creepy. See, look at the scenes. Now, what I like about this movie is really dark and really depressing looking and very gloomy. It's really very... It's a very effective uh, ghost story. This is the soundtrack is outstanding on this. It fits in perfectly with the movie. <laughs> oh. there's the coroner he's basically uh, stitching people up in the town he becomes a victim of Mary Shaw too now they're, they're just check this out man Oh, 
Oh, yes. I think you're getting the gist of what I'm talking about here, folks. The movie is right. just really right, cool, man. Just so cool. I'm going to tilt this camera down just a little bit because I am getting really cut out, getting cut out of the scene here. I don't like that. Oh, it's actually Mary Shaw down there <laughs> waiting to kill him. <laughs> okay, that's enough. That's enough teasing with clips from the movie. Okay. Let's get back to the movie. Where was I? I don't I have no idea where I was. <laughs> but, you know, folks, when I review movies, I tell you the truth about movies. You know, this movie is in my collection for a reason. Because of what you just saw up there. The two different clips I showed you. Uh, you know, I wouldn't steer you wrong on any movies. You know, I think I'm a pretty good uh, movie reviewer. I have some great ideas about movies and stuff like that. And a lot of people, you know, they... They don't listen to what I have to tell them, you know. There's reasons I re there's a reason why I review certain movies because I think these movies have a place in everybody's collection, whether you like comedy, horror, sci-fi, you know, stuff like that, action adventure, you know, action thriller, whatever it might be. But this movie, on the other hand, is actually well worth having in your collection in every sense of the word. Uh, Bob Gooden, of course, is in it, uh, you know, and uh, I can't think of. Really, not too many well-known faces. You, you recognize some of them, but you really won't. You know, it's not like recognizable names and stuff like that. But Mary Shaw, basically. Donnie Wahlberg, of course. He used to be part of that boy band. What uh, what the hell was the name of that boy band he used to be? I remember that? He used to be way back in the day. He used to be part of that little boy band, the singing group, that was really popular in the 90s or 2000s or whatever it might be. But anyway... What haven't I said about this movie? Ah, I mean, some of the scenes are just so creepy here, man. At, towards the end of the movie, he, Donnie Wahlberg basically goes with the kid back to the uh, theater where Mary Shaw used to perform. This is kind of like the ending. Of course, they, they find just all these cases of Ventroka's puppets up on the wall back in, you know, back on, back of stage or back of the stage or something like that. All the people that she's basically killed over the decades and turned into Ventrucla's puppets. And it's so creepy. And of course, she's in the theater because she lives in the theater. That's where she originated, you know, as her, with her act as a ventriloquist. And so she's that she she lives through those dolls, folks. She basically lives through those dolls. <laughs> it's so creepy. And they're all turning their heads at Donnie Wahlberg and the kid because they're trying to find the, the legend of her. They're trying to kill her basically because of what she's done of course they should do a sequel because i shouldn't even give this away should i give this away i don't think i should give this away oh my god of course donnie Wahlberg and the kid get turned into ventriloquist puppets then because they open their mouth and get scared at the stare of mary shaw and she just rips her tongue out and she has their soul <laughs> Basically, she takes your soul, folks. That's what it really is. She takes your soul and turns turns you into one of her little puppet acts, you know. And uh, and so basically, the movie kind of ends like that, you know. I think she's still on the rampage, looking for new victims. Of course, she's already gotten a family, and I can't. That's really, really what she. she it's it's kind of like a a ghost revenge story, you know, a ghostly revenge story. Should we just call it a ghostly revenge story? That sounds even better. And. Uh, Oh my God! Some of the scenes that look at this the scenes, man. Oh my God! Some of the scenes in this movie are so cool. They will just freak you out. They will send shiver, shivers up your spine, man. Oh my God! This movie is so outstanding, folks. I'm gonna give this movie a ten because it deserves a ten. As I said before, if I tell you a movie is good, you can take that to the bank. I don't want to hear any old snide remarks about, oh, you're you're wrong, Spidey. That movie sucked. The fuck it did. The movie was a classic, man. Just like RPI a couple nights ago. R RPI or whatever it was. <laughs> uh, you know, I pick out movies, like I said before. I pick out movies I think people will like seeing reviewed. Movies that are in my collection for that reason, you know. And this one is in there. This is unrated, by the way. Unrated. I actually should get the Blu-ray on this because it looks really good. Right now, it actually looks pretty good. Just conventional DVD. But it actually looks pretty good. You know, but... Maybe I'll buy the Blu-ray just to see if it's any crisper looking or stuff like that. Uh, God, what else can we say about this movie? Oh, my God. You know, if you don't believe me, folks, 
check out like a trailer on YouTube or something like that. And just, just you know, besides the trailers I show you here, I mean, there's little clips I showed you right up here. Just go to YouTube and check out some of the clips or maybe just, folks, just buy the movie. Trust me, just put it in your collection. Just forget about whatever anybody else ever told you about this movie, if it's bad or good. I'm telling you the straight out truth. It's well, it, it's a keeper. It's a keeper from start to finish. <laughs> Oh, I just, I just love make, I just love reviewing movies that I think are really cool, folks. Oh my God, should we show another clip? Let's show another clip, just to kind of give. Okay, just to use up a little bit of time, just to use a little bit of time. Okay, let's get that camcorder adjusted. Here we go. Oh my God. Oh, there we go. I gotta get myself in a shot. Oh, yeah. You, so you understand what I'm saying about this movie. This is the way the movie looks through a lot, pretty much the whole movie. Dark and gloomy and really creepy. I'm talking about. Ah, yes. Oh, oh, damn. Folks, if you don't like puppets, don't buy this movie. It'll scare the living shit out of you. See, the kid's trying to get rid of the puppet. He's going to bury the puppet because he, you know, that's the only way he thinks he can get rid of the curse. Of course, it, it follows him. It, it digs itself out of the grave and follows him back to his apartment. It's back in his damn apartment again because it, it needs to fulfill the curse of Mary Shaw. Yes, a lot of people think I need to fulfill my curse. <laughs> I think you're getting the gist, folks. I think you're getting the gist. I like this movie. Oh, God. I don't know if you can really see these scenes too well. It's kind of a... They're actually, the movie is kind of like really darkly photographed. I mean, it's, it's dimly photographed, which gives it the effect of being more creepy and atmospheric. That's what I like about this movie. <laughs> okay, that's enough. That's enough. I can't. No more. No more. I've shown you far too much. <laughs> oh, let's get my camcorder all. All right. Yeah, I've shown you far too much of this movie, folks. So we're going to end this movie review. I mean, I didn't tell you a lot about this movie. I just basically wanted to show you some clips to kind of give you an idea why I like the movie. You know. And uh, I think you can see that it's a pretty cool little flick. I mean, you know, so like I said, I'm going to rate this movie 10 out of 10 spider webs because I think it's a classic. And uh, so I don't know. What else can we talk about? Let's talk about anything. I don't know. I don't care what it is. <laughs> Spidey, tell us something about yourself. Well, I like reviewing movies. You know, I like uh, being the jokester. You know, stuff like that. I love just talking about stuff that I think is really pretty damn cool. You know, a lot of people accuse me of being a schlock, you know, and, uh, you know, stuff like that. And I, I say the hell with you. You know, I'm just doing what I like to do. Spidey is a movie buff, folks. I'm a movie buff, man. And I've, I, over the years, I've, over the last 20, 20, 20, 30 years, I've had probably a thousand, two thousand movies, either in VHS form or possibly, you know, or DVD and then a Blu-ray, of course, the last 15, 20 years. So I basically been collecting movies off and on for the last 30 years or so. You know, I found a lot of duds and I found some gems like Dead Silence. You know, for every 10 movies, I'd say, folks, I'd say maybe two of those movies should stay in my collection. The rest are duds. Uh, you know, I, I, I just like movies, folks. I like to tell people movies. I like to show clips about movies, stuff like that. I just kind of like to inform people about stuff. You know, and, you know, I, I don't care what people think. You know, I just enjoy what I do, folks. And I hope I, I hope I enlighten everybody with these movie reviews. You know, some people are, I do got some, uh, you know, some critics and stuff like that and detractors, but I don't care what they think. And I, I could care less what they think. I am, Spidey is doing what he wants to do. 
and that's enjoying life and talking about movies and saving the world from uh, the super villains and stuff like that. So we are going to end this review tonight. <laughs> oh, you know, I think this could be my best review because it's, you know, I got to show three different little scenes and stuff like that. And so, like I said, gets 10, it gets a 10 spider web rating out of 10 spider webs. So until next time, you know, I got, we will see you later. I got some really cool movies coming up, folks. I think you might enjoy them. I think you might enjoy them. Stuff you might want to put in your own collection. So we will see you guys later. And I will hold this up just as a reminder of what we talked about. Mary Shaw. Oh, so creepy. So creepy. Talk to you later.